welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming my um, April favorites. So I have a lot of favorites to go over. Um, first thing I'm going to talk about are my favorite websites, which will be linked down below. I actually only have one this time around, but that would be shopmissa.com. I've done several hauls in the past, so if you want to see those, I'll leave a link to the Shop Miss A or the Miss A playlist down below for you guys, as well as the website, so you guys can go and check it out. Shop Miss A is a website that has everything for a dollar. They are I lost them. So. First one I want to talk about is I have been loving my beauty blender. Yes, this is pretty dirty because I just used it this morning, but my beauty blender is number one, ride or die. I'm obsessed. Nor I was using my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, and then I moved over to this one last month, and I have been nonstop using it. I really, really like this. The liquid lipsticks. I got on the lip the liquid lipstick train way too late unfortunately um, but I think people still like them I still like them I don't really care if people like it or not so I do have some from the Miss A website now Miss A also has her own makeup line that recently just came out called AOA Studio and they are bomb.com AOA Studios lip uh, liquid lips are super good so they have a metallic they're called wonder metal that's their metallic liquid lipsticks and then they have wonder matte which is their cream formula matte liquid lips so I have some favorites from my metallics of course I have more favorites than this but I can only show you just a little bit so I have um, what is this I have diamond this is one of the metallics these are all metallics I'm showing you digital digital is my number one favorite and truffle is like really close to number one too and then i have unicorn as well this is a violet flash dark brown um burgundy plum and this is a more like rose goldy kind of color love these these are so pretty then for their cream ones these are just the two that i picked out but i basically love all of their cream ones this one is trend this is like an orangey color so this is great for summertime I have it I used it like to mix up some colors but I've not used it on its own just yet and obsessed nope blogger is a really dark uh, camel brown so this one looks really good um, basically I chose a ton of fall colors but I don't care I like to wear fall all year round girls I don't really care <laughs> um, okay also from Shop Miss A, I got this product. This is their blush, like Amuse Blush Duo Kit, Highlight Kit, Blush and Highlight. I don't know what it's called, but it's by the Amuse brand. This was only a buck. Each liquid lipstick was only a dollar. Um, they don't have any liquid lipstick bundles, but I think that they should because like, and you should, should, should like save $2 on a bundle. But anyways, um... This is what it looks like. I do not know what the shade is. I think it's color number four, two, two or four. Um, the blush I never use, but it's super pigmented. What I really use is the highlight. And that's what I have on today. I want to let you guys know that I do not use studio lighting. I can't af not afford studio lighting. This is my highlight. This is what people see me as during the day. If it's sunny, if it's not sunny, because it's not really sunny right now. It was raining. Um, Look at that. It's so blinding. It's so wet looking. It's, oh, I really like this. So another liquid lipstick brand. This one is the Beauty Moment by Jackie and Lauren. I will see if I can link, link these. I will try and link everything down below for you guys if I can. Um, so you know how that goes. But this is the Beauty Moment. I got this as a set of like five or six and all these nudie shades. And it was only like five bucks from TJ Maxx. These are so good. I have this color on my lips today. Wild favorites. These are the Wet n Wild Fergie um, eyeshadow things, eyeshadow palettes. This one's in Desert Festival and this one's in Mixed Metals. Desert Festivals. I'm using both of these on my eyes today. I use this in the crease, this in the lower part of my crease, this in my outer corner. But these are really pretty. They're super pigmented easy to blend. This is a matte dark brown. This is a matte bright orange. This is a satiny kind of bronzy shade. And then this is a nudie kind of cool tone taupey shade almost. But I use it to set my eyes um, before going in with powder. I've never really used this one, but it's a dark brown with glitter. 
I don't really use that one, but this is so good. I have it on my eyes. And then on my lids, I'm using this rose goldy copper shade, uh, wet, like, um, so it's all foiled. So that's what I have on my lids, but I love the colors in here. The only one I haven't really used is this dark green with the glitter. I don't really care for that one, but the other four, we've got like a slaty gray green, an olivey green, and then like a minty green. .com, Miss Say's website. Um, this is the Amuse Beauty Blush Kit or Quad in Hot Fuchsia. You get four different shades. You get a light lilac, you get a light pink, a darker pink, and then this is like a purpley kind of color. These are super pigmented. They are all matte, and I really love them. You have to be super light-handed. They're easy to blend. If you blend these two together, you kind of get a uh, dandelion shade. Um, my favorite mascara has been this uh, Physician's Formula Eye Booster. This one is the... Um, eyelash extension kit, but I like the mascara part of it instead of the actual fibers because that's too messy and they get in my eyes and I almost died. Uh, but the brush is so great. It adds really good volume. It has uh, lengthens, volumizes. The only thing it misses out on is separation. So I go in with another mascara to do that with. But, so this is the one I'll go in to separate my lashes out and I also use it only for lower lash line. Also, for my lower lash line, it's the only thing I use on my lashes. This is the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara, and it looks like this. It's 17 bucks, but it's really good. The brush is super duper uh, precise, very fine, and I have it on the lower lashes today where it just was able to grab those and not the skin all around them. For three second brows, pick up the e.l.f. Uh, brow pencil that they have. It's two dollars. Mine's in the shade taupe because I have my dark roots coming in. I've always used taupes without my dark roots in, so I really like it. I get it done super, super quick, and then I go over the top of my brows with my beauty blender just to blend out the edges and all the sides and stuff to make sure that it doesn't look super cray. And yeah, it's got this really nice tip. Um, you can shape it whichever way you want to. It's pretty fine. Um, mine's slanted right now because I favor one side, I guess. It also comes with a spoolie, which I use to help straighten my brows out to make sure that they are where they need to be. And that's kind of how I do my brows. Two bucks. I've been using this for a really long time. You might have seen it in other favorites before. Anything that I use consistently will always be re-mentioned in a favorites video to show you guys how much I'm in love with these products. Alrighty. So I do have uh, one last thing. This is actually an empty, so you'll see it in an upcoming, an upcoming empties video, but this is the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation in the shade Light 44. I'm completely out of it. I could probably get a couple more drops, but it's basically gone. This was so well, like this was a great foundation. I used to have a love-hate relationship with it, but once I found out my skin and how to like relax it and get away all the dry skin in the morning or what my routine for my skincare would be, this worked well. So if you have super dry, cracked skin, no. This isn't going to work. I'm so sorry, but it's not going to work. Secondly, I apply it with a um, beauty blender because it will still give me that full coverage, but it will not be as super cakey as if I went in with a brush, which is what I used to do with this guy. And I love it. It's the best. It's $35, so it's a pretty pricey foundation, but I definitely want to repurchase this in the future because it was so good. So, one day. And then, moving on to a brush tool. The Flawless Face Brush from Bare Minerals I use for bronzing, contouring, whatever I be doing right in this vicinity. It's got a great shape to it, so if you want to go like this, it's not going to go too wide out and like be up by your eye. And then you can get it nice and precise by just going in like this. It blends like a dream. Some skin carry type items. For my moisturizer, I am a ride or die fan. This is the St. Ives Timeless Skin Collagen Elastin Moisturizer. This is only $5 at Walmart. It's still available, and I've been using the same tub for two years. No, over a year, and this is good for two years. I love this. You get 10 ounces of the product, but I've used it every single day for the past year, and I'm still at half at the halfway mark. Um, just because you don't need, like, I'm at the halfway mark now. You do not need a ton of product um, at all. 
I'm halfway there. So yeah, this is super good. I'll definitely repurchase it once I'm out, but I use it basically every day. Even if I'm not wearing makeup, I'll try and throw it on. Sometimes I'll even try and put it on twice a day if I remove my makeup and like did the whole shebang, which I try to do at least get the makeup off. The rest of it, it's iffy. Um, but yes, I really love this product. So if you have dry skin with a little bit of oiliness on your nose, T-zone area, that's a really great moisturizer for you to try. So to remove my makeup, I love using the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water All-in-One. Removes waterproof makeup, the blue lid. I really like this. I also like the pink one, but I think I like the blue one just a little bit more because it adds a little extra moisture to my skin because I normally uh, clean my face right before I do my makeup every morning, no matter if I have makeup on or not from leftover residue. I just like to clean it. You never know what could be on your skin. You don't want to trap that underneath with your makeup. So... I love it. It's so cute, and I mean, it says there's no oil, but there's got to be some type of oiliness in here because I can feel it. So, I don't really, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's super good. Super easy to remove mascara, eyeliner, anything waterproof, liquid lips. It does a great job on liquid lips, so this is a super good product. I definitely recommend. I think it's about six bucks, and you get... 13.5 fluid ounces and that's totally worth it in my opinion and to help remove it I use the Swiss Burs ovals a large oval shaped like cotton rounds it is um, I really like these because they'll cover a large surface area they're nice and soft and they're basically lint free and I really like that about them they're about two dollars for this package but I definitely think they're worth it I live by these I will repurchase these over and over I do not want the cotton rounds for my face too much lint just gets all over and it's just it's a mess by the time I'm finished <coughs> to lock everything in place I like to use my pearlescence cucumber water um, hydrating face mist I like to set my face with this put it on before makeup put it on when I'm not wearing any makeup it just any quick little pick-me-up I did get this from TJ Maxx for six bucks and I definitely don't regret it. It's in a nice glass bottle. Um, the spray is a nice fine mist. It smells nice and fresh. It smells just like a little light refreshing cucumber mist. It's really good. I really recommend this. So I will try and find this online for you guys because I want to repurchase that. I don't care if it's 10 bucks or whatever it might come out to be when I'm done. I really like this. Lastly, I have two more favorites. This one is also from Miss A. It got lost in the bottom. It is one of their lip liners from their AOA Studio line. This is in the shade Faded. It's just a really nice, nudey kind of shade. Um, it needs sharpened badly, but um, that's that kind of nude shade. So I use it basically for everything. I used it today just to stay in the lines. It kind of helps me with my liquid lips. So I really like this. I plan to get more liquid lip. Um, lip liners and liquid lips from them and then lastly is just one of my favorite brow razors I recently just picked this up about two weeks ago but I love it this is a an Ardell brow razor and I love the shape I love the size I love that you can keep the lid on it it hasn't gotten dull in a like in about two weeks and normally they normally go dull like within that time frame and it's still going strong and I like that the lid clicks onto it so you're never going to lose it. The other ones just kind of slid on and then if you lost the lid, it, it's, it is what it is because sometimes these little buggers just get like a bunch of fuzz and junk all over them, especially if you have kitties. That is it for my favorites video. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Be sure to check out Miss A's website down below. I'll have a link to that. And also don't forget to check out my hauls from Shop Miss A for you guys to check out and see what I got and, you know, little here and there of those products. Just be on the lookout for upcoming reviews of different brands from Shop Miss A just because I am I totally stand behind it. Uh, check down below if there's anything that you are interested in to purchase. The links are down below. If I cannot link it, I will let you know that I was unable to find it, but I will leave the name of the product. And I think that's it, you guys. So if you did enjoy this, like I said, thumbs it up. Share it with all your friends so they can see all of my favorites. Let me know what some of your favorite products were for the month. And what would you want to see? Are there any products that you want me to do a tutorial on or maybe using all of these? Let me know in the comments section. And subscribe. 
I am still going to do the giveaway once I hit 300 subscribers. I've been saying it for over a year now. But once I hit 300 subscribers, I will be doing the giveaway. You guys will get the prizes that I've been building up and purchasing for a year. So um, there could be one to two winners at this point since I have a lot of stuff. But um, just keep on subscribing. Once we hit 300 subscribers, the giveaway is going live. So thanks so much for watching. Be sure you're subscribed. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.